Hey, this is Mikey with a, another video, and look what we have here. It's a brand new preset. It's called Wave Toy Pro. So what Wave Toy Pro is, it's an updated version of the free preset Wave Toy um, with some added little niceties to it. So let's kind of take a little um, tour through the new preset and all that it can do. So this is obviously something it can do, but I'm gonna just hide that. You know, let's delete those. And let's start from scratch. It's a shape layer preset. So make sure there's nothing selected and then just double click on the preset and it'll automatically create the shape and apply everything to it. So off the get go, it's just a single shape going up and down. What I can do to this though is like the wave toy, I can create waves. So if we come into contents in the shape layer, see that duplicate me? That's what we do, we duplicate it. And then what we have is a wave, it's a sine wave. Now there's a controller here where I can control all sorts of things. First, let's go into the wave attributes. So I can control the frequency. So it's a lot bigger of waves or more frequent. The amplitude and the speed. So if we bring the speed down to like five, then it still has that same shape of the wave that was created by the frequency and the amplitude, but it's moving a lot slower. Back to 25. Okay. Next we have the transform. And what this is, is I can spread these shapes all along the wave path with the spread. I can also reverse it the other way. I can offset the wave, and what this does is it just offset the wave in place where, when during the wave it is, and then the wave position is traveling along the wave path. Now there's, these are, this is where things start to get new. Everything else that you saw is in the wave toy, just the normal wave toy, the free version. Everything else is gonna start to get new. So we have the start size where we can change the size of the front of the wave and the size of the end of the wave. Kind of have that look. Add multicolors to it. We can have the change the start color to end color and you do that with the horizontal gradient. So I just bring that up and now I can have kind of a color change. I also have a vertical gradient that adds some shadow to the top. We also have a stroke. This is kind of like a, you know, kind of a cartoon line around it. Okay. Now this last part, delay. This I think is one of the coolest things. So if I bring this delay up, let's say to five. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use the position of the shape layer itself, keyframe it, and then let's just move the whole wave over. And you can see what happens. There's a delay in everything. So let's bring, bring that up to 10. And you can see it just kind of stretches out. So that's kind of a cool thing. Now what we can also do I'm gonna, let's take that position keyframe off, is we can add delay to, if we wanna keyframe any of the attributes inside of the wave. So I'm gonna add a, say a frequency change, right? Right here, keyframe the frequency, go forward and have that go up to 100, and then back down. And you can see that the frequency, it kinda, well let's, um, make it so it's easier to see a little bit. Let's bring the start size down. And as the frequency, it kind of creates that wave pattern in there. Let's do the same thing with amplitude. So we can keep from the amplitude at this point. It's at 63. We can crank that up. And 
and then go back down to 63 and it's going to create kind of just a wave through the wave because of the delay you see how it's kind of that amplitude change is kind of cascading through the wave let's watch that in full motion okay and what I had done on the example is I put a wiggle on the amplitude and the frequency and it created kind of that um, randomness to it. So another thing I like to do is it doesn't have to be just waves. So if I come in here, let's take off that keyframe change. Let's bring the frequency down to zero, amplitude down to zero, and then the spread down to zero. What I can do is let's keyframe the position of this dot. Maybe make the delay really short. Let's take a look at that. And so what I'm doing is I'm just keyframing the position and it's kind of creating this this trail look. And that's using the wave toy preset as well. Last thing I want to show you is if you remember to do this beforehand because there's lots of duplicating is you can change the shape instead of just a circle. I'm going to delete everything. And right here inside the shape what I have is it looks like a circle but I did a polygon. So if you wanted to bring the points down you know you can change the shape of it you know to a square and then we can come in and do the same thing and then what we have we need to duplicate that lots more is the same thing but with a diamond or a square shape instead. So that's the Wave Toy Pro. Now I have built this in After Effects CC 2014 so it's really a CC only um, tool. There's some things about CS6 that's not going to work quite work with this. Um, so if you're on CC 2014, well if you're on CC then you should be on 2014 because that's um, at least 2014. Um, it's going to work in 2014, 2015 it's um, for sale at cinemaspice.net. There's a link in the description. You can, there's also a link in the description to the old video for just the Wave Toy, the free version, um, and where you can find that if you don't need all the extra niceties. But um, it's only $2, so it's not something that is a whole lot of money for kind of a fun toy. So this is Wave Toy Pro. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.